Today, I finally set off on my next expedition to the northernmost point in Europe in the dead of winter. The first step is getting to Sweden, and that involves crossing the cold Baltic Sea on a ferry, seasickness, and my dog Vilk not really knowing what to make of it all. But first, I still need to finish packing. done. I think I'm all packed and ready to go. This all took so much longer than it needed to, than it should have, as always. And I'm not quite tired, but I really do need to leave tonight because I have a long way to go um, to the ferry tomorrow. So I need to leave tonight, stay somewhere, you know, in the middle of the way there in a hotel probably because the weather is awful. But before I set off, I'm just gonna take a little moment to just recalibrate, rest, meditate, chill. You know, I really wanna leave here with in like a good state of mind. I wanna be mindful of that because all too often I just rush into things and I rush out of the house and I rush into trips and I don't even think about it. Not now. Mindful. Okay, this is it. Two and a half hours of driving, hotel, wake up in the morning, three hours of driving, ferry to Sweden. <laughs> That's the plan. Wow. And so it begins. You wanna go? Kisses? Anybody kisses? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I have this rule when overlanding, I don't drive after dark. If I break that rule, like now, <laughs> then I get to have Haribos. They're the best. So I'm gonna go get some Haribos now. <laughs> No luck, they only had the ones with gelatine. They're not vegetarian. <laughs> okay, I guess we keep going, buddy. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That's fine, because I've got something better. Sandwiches from grandma. Oh, it's heavenly. How do grandmas always make the best sandwiches? Like, I could make the same sandwich, with the same ingredients, and it would not taste this good. Uh-oh. It's a magic touch. Okay, let's go. We made it. Home sweet home. I paid 120 worth it for this, which is about 30 bucks. Hey, Wilk, want your bone? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Hey, buddy. 
Good morning. Good morning, buddy. Hello. Hi. Oh, good boy. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, buddy. Yesterday and today I'm just driving from my hometown in southern Poland to Gdańsk, which is the big port city way up north on the coast. That's where I'll be catching a ferry to Stockholm in Sweden, which saves me two entire days of driving. And that's where Expedition North, I feel, will truly begin. Uh-oh, someone just flashed their lights at me and pointed at my roof, which um, suggests there might be a problem with maybe the sled or the bag on the roof rack. Maybe they're falling off. <laughs> I mean, there's, it's really, really windy today and I'm driving on a highway, so a bit of speed. There's nowhere to stop, so I can't check what's going on. I don't want to stop in the middle of the highway, but uh, it got me a little bit worried. I just hope that whatever it is, it stays on <laughs> until I find a safe, to stop. Oh. oh yeah, it is a little bit wonky. So I need to go up there and fix it. I mean, there is no way it would fall off because it's like pretty, pretty uh, locked in here, but it looks precarious. <laughs> and I don't want to freak people out. So. So windy, so windy. Okay, I think we're good. You know, distance and time really do make the heart grow fonder because I had completely forgotten just how terribly uncomfortable <laughs> this car is to drive <laughs> to sit in to change gears in to press the clutch in i mean defenders are great and all but they're also terrible don't get one please don't get one for the sake of your bones and your health and your sanity don't get one my coach isn't letting me forget that Vilk and I are running a 100 mile ultra next month, so I squeezed in a cheeky two hour run in the forest. So I just got a message from the ferry operator saying that my ferry to Sweden has been delayed by a few hours due to the high winds, uh, which makes me think about two things. First of all, I probably should get some like seasickness pills because I'm sure the waves are gonna be huge <laughs> and I get really, really motion sick. And then the second thing is that even a small delay like this actually puts me like about a day behind on my trip, which isn't great, um, but it is what it is and I'll just have to adjust. Okay, I'm gonna head to the port and um, wait around for a little bit, I guess. Okay, I guess we started moving. So we were supposed to leave at 6 p.m. It is now almost 11 p.m. And we're still not on board, so big delay. Big delay, buddy. I'm maybe one of the last cars to get on board, even though I was one of the first to get here tonight. I don't know how I ended up last, but... Okay, we are finally on board. Milk is being very restless, no wonder. I mean, we've been in the car for a little while. We had a big two-hour run, but it's uh, still been a very long day. 
and apparently I have so much stuff for me and for the dog but apparently I have to take it all at once I can't come back down so I'm gonna see how this goes it's like three bags and a hyper dog I can do it Please work. No. No. I would really, really, really love to be sleeping right now. It's way after midnight. My room key isn't working. <laughs> this is the dark side of travel. You're tired, you're exhausted, you're annoyed. You have no idea what you're doing. You're with your dog who's hyper. This is the life. This is our cabin. Oh, we're alive. We made it. Oh, yes. Oh my god. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Oh my god. I am exhausted. Free. Free. Yes, you're free. We are not going anywhere. This is it. Yeah, this is our home. There you go. Place. Yeah. A little bit too late for this, but go on. Here you go. Check it out. Uh -uh. Oh. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna do a tour of this place. Tomorrow, but for now, I think I just need some sleep. But before I go to sleep, there's one more thing I really need to do, and that is pay a bunch of invoices because today is invoice day. But there's only one problem I'm on public Wi Fi I'm here on the ferry, and that's where Surfshark VPN, the sponsor of today's video, comes in really handy. In case you've never used the VPN before, picture it being like a shield that protects all of your online activities and all the information that you access or upload online. I would never ever access my online banking without a VPN on public Wi-Fi or even mobile data. I also recently learned about Surfshark One, which is a kind of comprehensive package with some really, really cool features, including an alert feature where you can check whether your emails have been breached, you can see whether your ID info or credit card info has been leaked. It's really, really fascinating and I had a look at my own email to see if it had been breached at any point and it had twice without me knowing about it and it's kind of wild. Hey buddy, did you know that someone tried to breach our inbox? It's crazy, right? So it's really great to have this tool that actually works to protect you and your identity online. And now you can get three months free with my special code. More info in the description box. Okay, back to the video. Good morning. I was hoping to do like a tour of this cabin and this boat, but I feel so seasick. I'm feeling so awful. Like, on a scale of one to 10, with five being like medium bad and 10 being like puking my guts out, I'm like at a almost seven, I would say. I did take some medication, but it's not doing much. Can someone just explain to me, please, why do people go on cruises? Why would you ever go on a cruise if you feel like this? I promise if I feel better, I'll give you a tour. I swear. Ugh. I think Vilk is also not loving it because every few minutes he comes over to my bed and he like lays down at my feet, which he never does. 
Never. That's just not a thing that Vilk does. But now he's like glued to me basically most of the time, so. Okay. I'm feeling marginally better, which means that I need to go get a grip. Hey Vilk, you wanna go? Yes? You wanna go? You wanna go outside? You wanna go for a walk see? Yes? Let's go. There's something about getting on a ship that makes you feel like you're setting off on a massive voyage. I don't mean that in the horrible colonial way, I just mean that your sense of distance gets fuzzy the minute you set sail. Here we are, this is the uh, main open deck and this is apparently the only place where dogs can go to relieve themselves. You become a little floating island in the middle of a vast and unforgiving body of water and you have to rely on the ship making it safely to a foreign shore. The more I think about it, the less I want to think about it. Okay, go party, Vilk. Go party. Vilk was not so sure about this ferry either. It definitely freaked him out at first to be on a rolling open deck, but eventually, eventually, he got used to it. traveling with your dog but it's nice that the option is there to travel by ship and that they actually allow dogs you know and Vilk is kind of getting used to it a little bit <laughs> I think yeah you're getting used to it yes you're getting used to it you like it but it never ceases to amaze me how different the world looks when you're feeling sick versus when you're feeling good and healthy you know it's like when you're sick it's just like you have no power to do anything you have no energy to do anything and then everything changes the minute you get better it's wild so that's basically the outside tour of the outside and then if you kind of go back in here um this entrance leads you back inside into the cafe <laughs> decided to have a seat and have some tea in the bar and I want to <laughs> just show you one more thing oops camera's falling this is the packaging of my cup of tea and it's so aligned with this whole entire trip that I really need to show you life is about moments don't wait for them create them As the ship draws closer to Sweden, this whole journey is starting to feel more and more real. I still have some logistics I need to arrange in Sweden, like getting a new set of tires and figuring out where I'm going to spend the first couple of nights. Expedition logistics isn't the most exciting thing, but it's what makes the dream happen. Okay, I want to show you around a bit more of the ship, but I think I need to do that without Vilk because I want to get some food and managing the dog and the food and the camera is just a little bit too much. So uh, he's got a little treat in here and we'll come back to the cabin in a few minutes. Okay, buddy. Okay, free. Freedom. So the vast majority of this entire deck that I'm staying on is just cabins, left and right. So it's just small cabins mostly, um, two beds, four beds, you know, it's not a luxury cruise, right? It's just a pretty utilitarian kind of ferry. Having said that, I think they might have some kind of, I don't know, some aspirations because there is a disco on board and it's right here. I haven't gone inside and I'm not planning on going inside, but maybe we should go take a look. Well, it looks more like an arcade than a disco to me. Yeah, I guess if you're here with your family, this could be 
It'd be quite a lot of fun. Well, I'm currently trying to find my way to the restaurant. Um, I'm getting a little bit peckish. I'm so, so happy that I'm not feeling as seasick as I was before. I'm still feeling a little bit iffy, but nowhere near as bad. I'm actually able to stand and walk around and talk right now. Uh, restaurant, restaurant. There we go. So this is a restaurant for the truck drivers. I don't think I look like a truck driver. Definitely not a truck driver, so I'm just gonna go to the restaurant for all the rest of us. Which is right here. Once again, not a luxury cruise. This ship has one small restaurant, one slightly dodgy bar, and one cafeteria with, as it turned out, kind of one choice of dish. I'm gonna get um, cutlery and a tray Let's see what they have. Okay, so this here looks really, really good. This is a little salad bar. White cabbage, I think it's probably sauerkraut and red cabbage. This is like my favorite thing about Poland. All right, these called sulovki. Literally, that means raw things, but it's just like a mix of raw veggies. Um, very simple, really delicious, usually cabbage national vegetable or well, in addition to the potato of course I made a mess I made a mess uh, as you know. okay I was just eating here and I realized that I hesitated before pressing record on the camera because I got a little bit shy all of a sudden because there's a lot of people here and it's kind of interesting because after six years mm, of doing this of vlogging Full time in very public places often I still get a little bit shy um, and I don't really know how to I don't know if that will ever fully completely change I get that question a lot like how do you not be shy talking to the camera in public places and I don't really have an answer and then you just have to block it out consciously anyway but it's pretty good Hello. Hi. Did you have a nice little nap? Yes. Did you have a nice nap? Good boy. Now let me show you around this cabin, although there really isn't that much to see. It is just a few bunk beds. So there's these two and then there's two more folded ones up there. So it's actually, I think, a four person cabin, but because I'm traveling with Vilk, with a dog, I had to book an entire cabin to ourselves, which I guess makes sense. There's also a little desk here with a nice mirror. There is a night table. There is a coat rack, a little bit of space, and of course, um, a toilet and a shower, which is quite nice. Again, nothing special, no luxuries here, just it's all very utilitarian. It's all you need. It's just one night and one day. And that's how I spent my almost 24 hours on a ferry from Poland to Sweden. Truly the calm before the storm. We have finally arrived in Stockholm, only with a 10 hour delay. No biggie. Anyway, I'm gonna go get to Odyssey and we are getting out of here. Can get going. That was quick and stressful. Welcome to Sweden. <laughs> Welcome to Sweden, buddy. Which country is this for you? Country number 10? Probably. Good boy. Well, one step closer to the Arctic Circle. In the next episode, I experience my first 48 hours on the road in Sweden and get my first taste of just how tough the winters are out here. Ice covered with snow.
apparently some of the worst conditions you can drive in. I gotta say, I don't have any experience driving in the snow and ice. <laughs> and I'm going to the North Cape where it's just snow and ice. Subscribe to follow along or join my Patreon for exclusive updates and early bird specials. See you in the next one.